Hello everyone on 3rd of February Meta shares experienced the largest single day drop in terms of market capitalization in the history of United States stock market and on the other hand the news channels were exploding internet was filled with this news and Meta shares fell roughly around 25% which is nearly about 230 billion dollars investors money wiped off so how big is this wipe A total of 230 billion dollars is equal to the total market capitalization of India's biggest company Reliance Industries. So what exactly happened with Meta and what's the competition between them and TikTok that it suffered such a huge loss? And as it turned out as a surprise to everyone, to know more about it, let's get into the video. First, we'll have a overview of the market scenario. As we all know that the tech bubble in the market is there for past few months which dragged multiple tech stocks down. If you look at the graph of some tech companies from December 1st 2021 to February 3rd 2022 in Amazon we see a fall of nearly 18% and in Netflix we see a sharp fall of 34%. On the other hand in the Indian stocks like Zomato around 36%, Nike around 26% and Paytm around 42%. So is there a opportunity to buy these kind of stocks at the dip? Well, that will be a completely different topic to discuss. So in this, is it the first time that a company lost ocean full of money in the market capitalization in a single trading day? Well, the answer is yes. The main reason in the fall of Meta shares was because of fall of MAU, monthly active users. Analyst and investor expected 1.95 billion daily active users on Facebook in quarter 4 of 2021 but it reported only 1.93 billion due to which the share fell drastically the fall of MAU is the first time in the history of Facebook because of its competitor TikTok if you look at the yearly active users of TikTok it has skyrocketed within 4 years from 271 million in 2018 to a billion active users in the end of 2021 and if we look at the quarterly active users for Facebook in 2021 first three quarters were giving good sign to the investor but the fourth quarter was expected to be 1.95 billion rather than being 1.92 this fall of active users in meta is because of the algorithm of both of these apps have for example if a same 30 second video is posted on both of these platforms tiktok gives a higher view probability to its creators than meta because of its strong algorithm by which the video on tiktok will get more views it's not necessary that it works every time it can turn out to be a vice versa also now if a company is losing its active users it will also drain out its money to recover them the same thing happened in case of meta 2 Last year when Apple launched its requirement for iOS user to grant permission to gather data for ad tracking, Meta spent around 10 billion dollars on advertisement. And if you look at the income streams of Facebook, advertising represented 98% of Facebook's revenue and the remaining 2% of revenue comes from other sources. When we look at the type of content we see at Meta, they are basically of three types: stories, feeds and reels. As you saw now Meta is 98% dependent on ads for its revenue we see ads in stories and feeds but for reels there are no such ads displayed so therefore Meta earns bare minimum from reels as it's also mentioned in the fourth quarter report that reels are holding less monetization rates comparative to feeds and stories and we can see it clearly that TikTok is taking a clear advantage of its algorithm active users and transferring users from Facebook and Instagram towards itself whereas both the companies having their own pros and cons so how will meta tackle this problem against tiktok will be a fascinating thing to watch what's your opinion on this let me know in the comment section below till then i'll see you in the next one bye bye